People laid flowers beside the Moscow grave of former Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny on Tuesday, the day his memoir was posthumously released. Navalny's widow, Yulia Navalnaya, called the book a testament to his resilience, courage, and faith in a better future for our country. This book reflects his fortitude and sense of humor, which did not leave him even in the most terrible prison conditions, said Navalnyaya in a video posted on her Instagram a week ago. The memoir documents the famed dissident's extraordinary battle against despair as Russian authorities gradually increase their crackdown against him, and even shares advice on how to confront the worst and still not lose hope. In recent years, Navalny had become an international symbol of resistance. A lawyer by training, he started out as an anti-corruption campaigner, but soon turned into a politician with aspirations for public office and eventually became the main challenger to Russia's longtime president, Vladimir Putin. He was jailed after returning in 2021 from Germany where he was recuperating from a nerve agent poisoning, which he blamed on the Kremlin and was given three prison terms since. In December 2023, the authorities transferred Navalny to a penal colony of the highest security level in the Russian penitentiary system in a remote town above the Arctic Circle. In February 2024, 47-year-old Navalny suddenly died there. The circumstances and cause of his death remain a mystery. Navalny's widow and his allies say the Kremlin killed him, while the authorities claim Navalny died of natural causes. Алексей начал писать ее, когда восстанавливался после отравления и продолжил уже в тюрьме. В нее он делится своими надеждами и огромной любовью к России. Для меня это не просто книга, а последнее послание моего мужа, свидетельство его стойкости, храбрости и веры в лучшее будущее для нашей страны. Эта книга отражает его силу духа и чувство юмора, которые не покидали его даже в самых страшных условиях тюрьмы. Алексей никогда не оставался, и это то, что я хочу, чтобы люди помнили о нем. Он боролся не ради власти или личной выгоды, а ради справедливости и свободы для всех нас. Потеря Алексея величайшая боль в моей жизни. Но я знаю, что его история продолжит вдохновлять людей. Я надеюсь, что, прочитав «Патриот», вы проникнетесь его убеждением и его верой в то, что правда и добро победят. Seven people were injured in Zaporizhia as a result of a Russian strike on Monday. More than 30 residential buildings were damaged, according to the regional governor Ivan Fedorov. Another Russian strike on Kiev also damaged a residential building, according to the state emergency service. 43 people were evacuated. Russia fired a barrage of three missiles and 116 Shahid drones, along with some UAVs of an unknown type at Ukraine during the night from Sunday to Monday, the Air Force reported. 59 drones were destroyed. Thank <laughs> you.
Gracias,